Thank God we weren't late for this news by two weeks, or else we'd never hear the end of it. Uh, there was a press release that came out today from the Big N. Not PewDiePie's Big N. This is Nintendo <laughs> talking about the SNES Classic Edition uh, and the the what? The NES Classic, Classic. Edition. Yeah. So what's going on here? Well, let's first start with the NES Classic Edition and just say, hey, it's coming back in 2018. Come on. Now, it was discontinued uh, in April. That's when they announced it being discontinued. Yes. They didn't say it was gone forever, though. They just said it's discontinued for now, but we all thought that's it. That's the end. Well, I think... We might have even mentioned during our um, original discussion on this, or at least if we didn't, there were people who did, who said that that did not mean that the door was always closed oh, sure. on it coming back. But it did seem kind of dire, especially at the time. Um, they were getting ready to put out the uh, the new 2DS. Mm-hmm. Um, About the and, same time the announcement was made. Uh, and right. they were ramping up Switch production. Because they, it was going well, and they they wanted to. They were doubling the production. They were doubling the production, and everyone kind of thought that an SNES Mini was on the way. So if it was going to come back, uh, we didn't know when, and uh, it, it it seemed like at least for the near future, that was a um, massively botched project on Nintendo's end. Sure, because they never even announced that until afterwards. That, oh, it was only going to be a holiday release, the NES Classic. Like, right. Oh, that would have been great well, to know before. It would have been nice to have known that ahead of time. So, the SNES uh, uh, Classic is... Um, this, to me, is a, a bit better. And to me, I want to poke a couple people over this. I'll poke them. And this is Nintendo's also shot across the bow at, at, at a few entities. Yes. They also threw the retailers under the, the bus, bus for the pre-orders. And this is good. Um, this is what we were talking about before. Nintendo stated when they announced the SNES Classic Edition that they were going to make sure that production was going to be much higher this time. And that they were going to focus on there being a lot more available at retail at launch. Remember, the NES class was only 2.3 million, as a reminder, which is very low. Total. Yeah. That, 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 world, that was worldwide, includes the Famicom? I believe, yeah. Uh, no, that was NES Just, Classic. Okay, European and North yeah. America. Um, and then there was the botched pre orders with who was the original one? Uh, that was Toys R Us, Walmart. Uh, it was Walmart, Walmart originally. And then there were the Toys R Us and... Uh, Amazon, Best, Best Buy. Yeah. Which I, I, I mine stayed, thankfully. And, uh, you know, those sold out super quick. And everyone started complaining and bitching and moaning about how Nintendo was fucking it up again. And you and I stated once again that this might not be Nintendo's fault. I don't just like, it could be. Damn you. Just like we did the first time uh, around with the SNES Mini uh, Classic Edition pre-orders, that this could be very well the retailer's problem. Jumping the gun or just, I don't know, just doing something stupid, trying to one-up each other. Who knows what the hell happened? Yeah, exactly. And today Nintendo comes out and says, yeah, that was the retailer's fault, not ours. Reggie fils said so, that. Yeah. Directly. And came out and said, do not pay more than seventy nine ninety nine. And he said, uh, you know, basically said, as we said, we are focusing on having plenty at launch. And I can't remember which article it was that we were reading when we were coming up with topics. But one states that they plan on having as many at launch as they did in total during the entire NES Classic Run. That's a press release from That's today. That's a press that, release. That was a okay. press release. So, th so originally Reggie said, uh, this was uh, yesterday on September 11th, uh, he said that we aren't providing specific numbers, but we will produce a diff significantly more units of Super NES Classic Edition than we did of NES Classic Edition. Um, and then, then he also mentioned that, yeah, this was retailers doing what they do. It was beyond our control, the pre-orders, which makes sense. Nintendo can't tell Walmart when to put the pre-orders up and take it down. Nintendo can't do that. 
All they can do is say, we're going to give you this many amount of units for pre-order. That's all they can do. So the press release comes out. And the press release says this. <clears throat> Due to the incredible demand. So they're recognizing this. This is very key here. Because they never said stuff like incredible demand before the NES class came out. They didn't realize that. And right. we'll get into what that means. But anyways. Uh, Due to the incredible, incredible, uh, incredible demand for the Super Nintendo Entertainment System, colon, Super NES Classic Edition, which is redundant, Nintendo plans to ship the retro Inspire product into 2018. Originally, it was just going to be for the holiday season of 2017. Originally, originally shipments were announced to cease at the end of this calendar year. In addition, more units of the Super NES Classic will ship on its September 29th launch date in the U.S. than were shipped of NES Classic Edition all of last year, with subsequent shipments arriving in stores regularly. Fans have shown their unbridled enthusiasm for these Classic Edition systems, so Nintendo is working to put many more of them onto store shelves, which is good because then that, that makes it harder for scalpers and their bots to go on websites and, and buy 50 at a time. Which was something that I believe I brought up, or I, one of us brought up, but I think I had brought, we, we had talked about the last time was the benefit, because everyone's so concerned about these fucking pre-orders. The pre-orders are kind of where the problem lies if they're on store shelves and everyone can walk in and get one it's a then harder the to scalpers are cut off at the knees yeah. it's a lot harder for them to take advantage of the situation yeah especially if stores are smart enough to limit people to, to say two. two yeah then it becomes next to impossible you know you can get one for yourself and you can get one for a friend yeah. but that's it you know, I mean, even if you have a couple of friends or family members buying them then okay maybe you get six but yeah. you're not getting 50 with your fucking bot. You're not going to have that pyramid stack of 100 that people are still having trying to sell. And right now, the NES Classic is like $200 still. Yeah. Um, or, or actually, let's buy it now on eBay brand new. So this is key. Something happened here. Something happened, especially with the following. Because that was like, okay, that makes sense. Because they, they, they said that we're going to do better. But then they said next summer, Nintendo will also bring back the NES Classic. Edition with new shipments. More information about the timing of the return of NES Classic Edition will be announced in the future. I wonder what Pat the NES Punk thinks about that. Maybe we'll find out. So, uh, of course, people have the right to be skeptical about skeptical about, about yes. Nintendo in the past. They, they sure do. Skeptical about Nintendo in the past not doing this. But the fact that they say in a press release that they say unbridled enthusiasm, incredible demand. You know, phrases like that. That is really good. Because they usually don't say shit like that. Right. So, this is what I think would happen. I honestly think this is Nintendo of America. Basically, fucking Reggie. I can picture Reggie getting a baseball bat. And his crew flying over to Tokyo and busting some fucking heads. Yeah. <laughs> and saying, listen. We are leaving tons of money on the table. Mm -hmm. He can't say this stuff publicly because he's not the one in charge. Right. Japan is. But he, he's, been, he's probably showing them charts and graphs and all the fucking scalpers and saying, people are paying $200 for these. We can make more and make a ton of bank. And somehow the message fucking got through that by doing this, you're not cannibalizing your virtual console sales. It has nothing to fucking do with Switch sales at all. Nothing. So somehow... Some way, this message got through. He showed them videos of crying baby adults not getting their toys. I just think he pulled an Al Capone from the Untouchables and just beat someone over the head with a baseball bat. No, I, I, just, so, I just know. wanted to agitate the people who got mad at me last podcast. That's oh, about, about pull up your pampers? Oh, apparently there was a whole NeoGAF thread where people were very angry at me. Was there really? I, I, someone, but Ian, those are your people on NeoGAF. I don't know. You, those are your kind. People misunderstood me. They all have your was, SJ, SJW pins on uh, NeoGAF. Yeah. <laughs> Apparently people misunderstood me as promoting uh, uh, piracy when really all I was saying was um, fucking get over it. Can I be preemptively banned from NeoGAF? That'd be awesome. Because I hear everyone, they ban everyone left and right for no reason. No. Anyway. Um, great news. Uh, now, I understand why it's going to take a while to get the NES Classic back into the till probably. They, they probably have to... Uh, get the SNES out first and well, then and reassess where they are next year. This is what their focus is right now. And they're probably using some similar parts too. Similar, probably assembly lines, similar, you know, uh, yeah, similar parts, similar production uh, people that are probably doing that work. I think this answers a question that a lot of people ask too, um, which is the one about the um, N64 
Classic Edition. I think this safely says that an N64 Classic Edition, if it's coming, is not coming for a few years. Because we've got the um, SNES Mini um, going into 2018. Then and we have the SNES yourself. Classic coming in summer of 2018. And I would not be surprised if enthusiasm is still there that that pushes into 2019. Sure. Uh, because that, th- why not run that through the 2018 holiday season, 2019? Um, why not? If, it does, if, the, yeah. if the sales don't slow down, this is like, oh my God, Nintendo's seeing the light. They can sell 20 million of these easily. Right. And at eighty dollar price point for the SNES one, if people were saying, "Oh, they weren't making much of a profit before with the NES," they definitely are at eighty bucks. They definitely are. Even though that extra controller costs them two dollars, you know, to do that extra controller. But the fact of the matter is, there's less licensed games that they have to go out and get for the SNES, and it's twenty dollars more. Oh, by the way, I saw a um, literally today. I saw a uh, knockoff NES Mini. A uh, lady came in. <laughs> looking for uh, an audio video cable for the uh, NES Mini uh, for a knockoff one. It had two nine-pin controller boards. Oh, I've seen these, I think. Uh, with two really shitty NES you know, knockoff controllers with nine-pin controller ports. Okay. Um, a sticker on the front in that generic font that seems to be on all Chinese bootleg merchandise Mm -hmm. that said um, Nintendo uh, Entertainment Player and then uh, was this in the box or loose? It was in a box and the box was just awful because I've seen boxes now look pretty good no no this This was awful this didn't even try okay was she trying to trade this in? no no she just wanted an AV cord she just wanted an AV cord for it but it was an AV cord format I have never seen before (laughs) But, there, but she's like, AV she's like I got this NES Classic offline and it didn't come with an AV cord. And I was like, yeah, I'm That's sorry, I don't have this. The power and reset buttons did not have any wording on them. And they both clicked all the way in. The reset button didn't pop back out. Back out. So this this is worse than the ones we saw that you can, you can probably tell us. The one that on. I said looked like a beat up like lunch sandwich. Yeah, no, this was <laughs> a lunch sandwich. Yeah, like a as opposed to a dinner sandwich. I meant one that you would find like <laughs> shut up. Um, one that you would find like in a paper bag. I meant like crushed by two school books. Um, no, <laughs> okay. this was awful looking. But yeah. So this is but this is great news though. I mean yes, uh, and of course again you can be skeptical about this, but until they fuck this up, the fact that they confidently said there's going to be 2.3 million at least on September 29th, that's just for day one, which means to believe that throughout the rest of the month, there's going to be a 10 million at least. We'll see. But even if there's 1.5 on launch, launch, that's a hell of a lot better. Instead of squeaking them out, barely barely shitting them out. When they announced it, we talked about if there was pyramids of these at Best Buys and GameStops at launch you know they they could they could sell all of them and it's going to be the case with yeah this, we said, but we might actually see stacks of these that actually. was that's one of the things i used to say yeah imagine the display at target when you had like you know 70 80 of them just there and they'd be gone within a couple of, a day or two yeah and they could replenish that every other day for the holiday season so now we're going to see Right. They didn't do it for the NES because we realized they didn't have any to promote at the Super Bowl or even on Monday Night Raw. There was no commercials. Right. Now we'll see what commercials because there's, they're producing, say, 10 million, 20. There's going to be commercials. There's going to be promotion besides just YouTube to the general public. That's going to be interesting to see. And I think that's going to open up the eyes in Nintendo Japan to see, oh, shit, what did we do? What did we lose out on last holiday season for the future? And yeah, we'll see about the N64 Classic. I, I'm, I'm with you. I don't see it coming out anytime soon. Uh, I think because, one, the controllers are a little more complicated and more expensive. Two, uh, those games go for a lot more in the virtual console. Well, like as we well. talk, well, we've talked about them in private before. Yeah. We, you don't, they don't want to devalue those. But just, just from a basic production standpoint, I think this chokes it up too much for them to even consider it for a while. True, but um, but it's not like this is overly complicated. I saw, uh, in order to put out multiple products, I think it's silly to think that. I saw one article on Forbes by Eric Kane. That was a shit article. Uh, basically saying that there's no reason uh, why it's a mistake for Nintendo to release more NES Classic. Why it's a mistake. It, it's a mistake they're going to be selling these out next summer? 
That the demand's still going to be through the roof? It's How is probably it mis- because he has ten in his closet and he wants to make a lot of money. <laughs> is, is it, is he, are you calling out Eric Kane as a scalper? Is that what you're doing? But I'm sure. he said, this is ridiculous, by the way. These old NES games are fine, but they rely on nostalgia more than anything. And nostalgia gets old fast. To be honest, the games on the NES Mini are pretty dated at this point. Oh, God, suck my nips, Eric. Few of these games can rival the mini SNES catalog. So Super Mario 3 is no good still? Like, that's just no good. That's not still considered one of the best platformers of all time. Is that right, Ian? Dr. Mario still not an excellent uh, puzzle game? Really? Is there really... You really need that big of an upgrade from the NES to the Super Nintendo to play Dr. Mario? Are you, are you telling me that? Seriously? Come on. Come on, Eric. You know better. And even if you said... As is, the, is he going to tell me that Jeff Beck's not a good guitarist? I mean, <laughs> just because he's fucking old? The truth is... Games improved in pretty enormous ways between the two systems, making the SNES far more desirable than the NES Classic Edition, at least as something people are likely to actually play. Oh my god, shut the fuck up! The games play the same, they just look slightly different. I was gonna say, the 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 mechanics! There's probably no other two systems on the planet where one was literally the super version of the one that came before it. Like, it really was. Because the stylistically, the games were largely the same yes. on the next system. They just, again, like you said, graphically better, musically, audio was better, and you had more buttons. But yes. they were, it was really the same style of games. The differences between something like the Master System and the Genesis were way different. But the yeah. Super Nintendo and the regular Nintendo, it was just a leap in processing and graphics and sound. Sure. So, not a mistake for this to happen because people are going to love this and buy it, and Nintendo's going to make a shitload of money, and they're, and they're still going to make a profit off the NES Classic. The big question, though, with the NES Classic, Ian, is whether or not they're going to do stuff like fix the, fix the controller cord length on that, because it is going to be a longer for the SNES Classic. Are they going to change the game lineup? I'd probably say no to that. But are they going to patch it somehow so you can't hack it? They have the time to do that. They probably will do that. That's, that's what I think is going to happen. I don't care. I mean, if they... I think there's something... I think there's something almost quaint and unique about it not being able to be hacked. So I wouldn't actually be against that. I think there's something interesting to be said about well, it. Will there be a different box so the first edition will still be worth a lot more? <laughs> I'll lick my ass. Um, <laughs> I I think the it'll only be changed if licensing is a problem or up. And uh, I would like to see them include two controllers so there's not that crazy controller rush. Oh, we didn't think about that. They're going to have to produce a lot more controllers if they're going to be putting out like 5 million, 10 million more NES Classics. Well, you got to figure the SNES controller is slightly more expensive and they're putting two in that box. It would make sense for them to put two NES controllers in that box, especially because I, I think we kind of went over it, but there was almost more or at least equal amounts of, of two-player important games on the NES Classic, like Tech Mobile and, and uh, Double Dragon 2. Well, in Europe, you can get the uh, the the controller. With, they're the same ones. They're just they're just different box for forty dollars. Used to be only fifteen or twenty because I think they must have found a new it's a bunch of stock. I was going to say new old stock, but the thing is barely out of stock. But in the U.S., you can't find them. U.S. people are trying to get one hundred fifty dollars buy it now for the controller, for the single controller, which is insane. Yeah, here's someone who has a stack of fifty uh, controllers. The European ones, thirty five dollars buy it now from Greece. Get your Greek NES Classic controllers. All right, good news, and then we'll see if Nintendo drops the ball again. But I think, like I said, I think Reggie started busting heads like Negan in Walking Dead. I think he, he had to make an example out of someone. At least that, in my mind, that's what it is. I, I picture, uh, you know, Reggie being the enforcer now. So that's 